the greatness of bath is of goodness in the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, believers, bow down, prostrate yourselves, worship your Lord, and do good that so that you may succeed. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The greatness of paths of goodness and the variety of its means are among the most important features of the message of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Since it is a message that came as a mercy for humankind. It is a message that takes into account the nature of human beings, their circumstances, and their potential, and opens up to them the gates of goodness as much wide as possible. In a Qudsi hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, My Lord says, If my slaves comes nearer to me for a Spain, I go nearer to him for a cupboard. And if he comes nearer for, to me for a cupboard, I go nearer to him for the Spain of outstretched arms. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him running. The bath is of goodness. The baths of goodness are so many some of which are related to ritual deeds, as the Prophet ﷺ has said. When a person performs his wudu properly and proceeds toward the mosque with the purpose of performing prayer and congregation, he does not take a step without being raised a degree in a rank. For it and having a sin remitted for him till he enters the mosque. When he is performing, prayers, the angel continue to invoke blessing of Allah on him as long as he is in his place of worship in a state of wudu. They say, O oh Allah, O oh Allah have mercy on him, O oh Allah forgive him. He is deemed to be engaged in prayer as long as he waits for it. The Prophet ﷺ has said, he who goes to the masjid at dawn or dusk for prayer, Allah prepares a hospitable abode for him in paradise. Every time when he walks to it or comes back from it. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ has said, The five daily prescribed prayers and Friday prayer to the next Friday prayer, and the fasting of Ramadan to the next Ramadan is expiation of the sins committed in between them. As long as major sins are avoided. Also the Prophet ﷺ has said, Whoever performs Hajj pilgrimage and does not have sexual relations with his wife, nor commit sins, nor disputes unjustly during Hajj, then he returned from Hajj as pure and free from sins as on the day on which his mother gave birth to him. Among the most important and greatest baths of goodness, among the most important and greatest baths of goodness are those acts whose who benefits extend to reach the society, such as charity, relieving those in calamities, supporting the distressed, the distressed people, and prevention of harm. The Prophet ﷺ has said, He who gives in charity the value of a date which he legally earned, and Allah accept only that which is pure, Allah accept it with his right hand and foster it for him as one of you foster his mare until it become like a mountain. The Prophet ﷺ has said, 
The doors to goodness are plenty. The doors to goodness are plenty, including glorify, glorification of Allah. Including glorification of Allah, praising Him, saying, Allah is a great. There is no God deserving to be worshipped but Allah. Enjoying good, forbidding evil, removing harm from the road, conveying the message to death, guiding the blind, helping people with their needs, exerting your utmost with those in dire need, and giving aid to the weak as much as you can. All of these are acts of charity for yourself. Our Prophet وسلم, said, Removing something harmful from the road in a charity, sadaqah, is a charity, sadaqah. In another hadith, the Prophet وسلم, said, You should, you should restrain yourself from doing wrong to people because it serves as a charity which you bestow upon yourself. All this proves that paths of goodness are plenty and numerous, which is a sign of the mercy of the Almighty Allah with His servants. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and followers. Among the paths of goodness is feeding the poor. This is a trait of true believers who, per, who pursue to reach paradise. The Almighty Allah said about them, they give food, they give food to the poor, the orphan, and the captive, though they love it themselves. Our Prophet ﷺ said, O oh people, exchange greetings of peace, assalamu alaikum to one another, feed people, Strength the ties of kinship and be in prayer when others are asleep, you will enter paradise in peace. The feeding may be more rewarding than performing ritual acts, whose benefit is restricted to the reformer, especially in times of crisis that require solidarity, compassion, cooperation, and mutual help and assistance. Al-Hasan al-Basri said, To walk for fulfilling the need of you, Muslim brother, is better than, than performing frequent pilgrimages. Abbot said, Fulfill other needs as much as you can, and also relieve the distressed man. The best of one's day is that on which he fulfills other person's wish. However, we affirm that the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took into account the conditions of all people and opened for them the doors of goodness so wide, each according to his capacity and potentials. The basic principle here is being truthful with Allah and having sincerity in the work. We ask Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.